Uh, during this break, may I present Mr. Chin Fong Chen, the first Taiwanese major league uh, major leaguer. Welcome, Mr. Chen. And uh, as you have already said hello to our fans, uh, I would like to know that this is truly a great honor to, for us to have you right now here. I also want to take this uh, opportunity to tell everybody out there to know that Mr. Chen is now the advisor of the Fubang Guardians Baseball Club. So I'm just going to ask you one straight question. Do you miss playing baseball? Yeah, I miss baseball a lot, but everything is finished. But I, I still work in baseball and not go far away. Okay, that's good. So he's still actually, uh, for Mr. Chen's duty right now as an advisor of the Fubang Guardians Baseball Club, uh, he's also pretty much involved with all the matters uh, with, the, with the club's operation and all, everything like that. And uh, also, I would like to you know, ask you about something that um, uh, right now you are the advisor of the clubs and you've been, uh, you, you have been a player for a very long time and now you're on the executive side. Uh, which one is more challenging? <laughs> <laughs> to everything, it's a challenge. For me, it's every day we face the mm. different... Uh, Challenges. Yes. Yeah, okay. So there may be difficult to hit home runs too, but it, it is also <laughs> difficult to... Well, I wouldn't think it would be difficult for you to hit home runs because you've been hitting so many of them in the past, well, I would say decade or maybe two decades. And uh, as I was talking to Wen the other day during our previous uh, broadcasting that uh, uh, we, we talked about you know players going to the States or we're talking about players coming to Taiwan, they need to some... They need to have some time to adjust, or there are a lot of things to adjust. Uh, I would like to ask you that when you were going to the States at that time, what is the, uh, the most difficult thing for you to adjust uh, besides language? Uh, I'm the first one to go to play in the United States. I need to get everything. You need to get used to everything. Yeah. So, uh, was the food a problem? <laughs> but you gotta use everything. So, but did you did you miss like Taiwanese food when you go there? Yeah, the first year. The first year. The second year, third year, four years. So it's okay. You know the everything, so. Okay. Like, because I, I heard that, uh, as, as we're seeing Miranda's pitching right now, I, I was told by his translator on the team saying that he he has pizza every day. He only. I first see a hamburger pizza every day. Oh, same. okay. For you, the same. The yeah. same as me when I came to Taiwan. First year, McDonald's. Oh, okay. <laughs> way, way too much. All, all the burgers and everything. <laughs> yeah. But did you try to cook rice for yourself? I don't have time. Oh, so I got to play every day. But I go to Vegas. Uh -huh. I love Chinese food. So, so you just for go me, the Vegas is easy. Take out yeah. those kind of things. Okay, so uh, ladies and gentlemen out there, uh, well, if you go to the Vegas, if you want Chinese food, don't worry about it. You'll be, you'll be all set there. So, well, except for the food and uh, you know, the language, I, I remember you have a translator, right? Yeah, first year and second year. Yeah, first year and second year. So, there must come to a time that you figure out that you need to learn the language, to learn English, or maybe to learn some Spanish as well, because you have a lot of teammates speaking <laughs> Spanish. Yeah. I'm not going that way, but uh, well, tell us, how, how do you, you know, sharpen your English? How do you learn English when you're there? First, I watch a lot of TV. Uh -huh. When I learn English, but okay. my teammates teach me a lot. Oh, what did they teach you? The good words or the bad words? <laughs> Both. <laughs> Both. Okay. Yeah. Don't I say those bad ones. <laughs> sure. Yeah. But I think it really helped, right? How about you? How about when? How did, did you have any like? Did you go to the Chinese class here? Or? Yeah, I studied Chinese for probably um, at a school. I studied Chinese for about two years. Oh, I see. Um, once or twice a week we would do the classes, but you know when we play a lot of softball, Lei Cho right here yeah. here in, in Taiwan, um, you do tend to learn um, some of the the more useful <laughs> words, uh, like like maybe the not so good. Oh, okay, words. They're, they're, don't put it on the air. Yeah, yeah. That, those kind of words. Okay. Yeah. So, well, Chin Fong, I think. Oh, by the way, there, there's something uh, uh, regarding the language, you know. We always call him Chin Fong Chen or Chen Jin Fong, but well, let me tell you, if you want to sound smart, if you want to sound like you're a good friend of Jin Fong, you just call him Kim Hong. Ah. 
Kim Hong. Uh. Kim Hong, uh, that's the Taiwanese uh, pronunci pronunciation of his name. So every time that we see him, we call him, hey, Kim Hong, uh, what's up, something like that. And, uh, well, as you know, that this is a very special time uh, for everybody you know, out there in the world. That uh, We are the only one who's uh, being able to provide live baseball to the entire world. Uh, is there something you would like to you know, tell our friends who is watching internationally to, to give us a little bit of maybe encouragement or motivation? If you want to speak Chinese, that's fine. Uh, I will translate it for you. Thank you very much for the opportunity to be here in the booth and as CBBO is the first and only professional baseball league in the world now to proceed with their schedule, uh, we are very happy to be able to bring you the baseball and we welcome and we still uh, we keep inviting all of you out there to uh, watch our baseball and I hope you will like our baseball. But before we let you go, uh, I would like to uh, ask you for your opinion that on these two teams today, uh, we, we'll do this one now when we come back. And this is another very smooth inning for Miranda as we will be coming back right after this. Catch up with you soon. Okay, so before we let you go, then we, we would like to ask you something about that would be your expertise, the baseball side. We saw the the games today, and uh, we have very good. Uh, actually, we have a very very good batting team of the uh, of the elephants. I'm sorry, of the brothers, <laughs> and we also have a pretty good uh, batting team for the guardians. Please give me two of your picks of one player each of the team. The best hitter in your mind, one from the Guardians and one from the Brothers. Uh, can you start from the Brothers first? Who do you think? Who is the best hitter? Lin Zhisheng. Lin Zhisheng. Well, what do you think, Wen? I'd have to agree. I mean, yeah. if he can get through all of his injuries mm -hmm. and things like that, that man has a lot of pop in his back. Sure. He's a very good hitter. So okay. if he can stay healthy, I think he would be. Probably the best. Yeah. All right, okay. So after this game, we'll go to Lin Jiu and we'll tell him that Kim Hong has said that you're the best here on, the, on your team. So we're going to watch you until the end of the season and see how you play. That's a lot and, of pressure. Yeah. And how about your own team? Who do you think the best player is, that the best hitter is? Hu Jinlong. Hu Jinlong. He's a smile. Okay, so Hu Jinlong. Oh, I think he gave us pretty good, easy choices, <laughs> you know, to, to, to work on. But still, the same thing now, Hu Jinlong is... Uh, handpicked by Kim Hong as the best hitter on the team of the Guardians. So after the game, we'll go to Hu Jinlong and we'll tell him that Kim Hong has picked you the best hitter on the team and we'll still keep watching you closely. Well, he's been doing pretty good. Uh, he just reached his 1,000 hit in his CBBO career and uh, we believe that uh, Hu Jinlong will still have a very, very good year. Then look, uh, we would like to thank you very much for joining us today and we are hoping that we're not taking too much time of yours. Would you like to come back some other time? Yes, <laughs> just say yes. <laughs> just say yes. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> okay, maybe. Great. Uh, we, uh, and ladies and gentlemen, this is Kim, uh, Chin Fong Chen and Kim Hong Ah, and this is the first major league from Taiwan in the history of Taiwanese baseball, and he's one of our most admired baseball hero. We call him mm. the pride of Taiwan, Taiwan Zhi Guang. Wow. And that is every bit of fitting. So thank you very much again, and uh, we'll see you in the next broadcast maybe <laughs> thank you so much okay so stay with us don't leave yet and as we uh, will be coming back to with uh, the game uh, that would be the beginning of the fourth inning I suppose as we take a look at Lin Zhisen going down first base <laughs> 